Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. So we are in the middle of a crazy busy week leading up to Christmas. I have a ton of baking I need to get done. As you can see behind me, all of my baking stuff is stacked back there. I have a whole bunch of cookies I'm making for Christmas Eve service at our church, but I need a quick and easy dinner tonight. I'm gonna make one of our favorite soups. It's definitely soup season. It's kind of chilly here tonight. So it's a great night for us to have some soup. And I have just enough ingredients left over from some other things that I need to use those up. So we're gonna make a delicious soup. So the soup we're making tonight is a bacon cheeseburger soup. It has everything that is amazing about a bacon cheeseburger, but it's in a soup form. So let's get it going. So in our pot right here, I already cooked um, some bacon. It's about a half a pound of bacon. I have about one pound of ground beef left over from the meatloaf that I made the other night. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description for you so you guys can check out that. It was a very tasty uh, meatloaf that was a mock recipe of the um, Christmas story, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So we're gonna get our ground beef going in here. We've got our celery and carrots ready to go. We're just gonna use the um, minced onions from Costco. I have not been to the store to get an onion yet, yet so we are just gonna use what we've got on hand. All right, our bacon is cooked. Our ground beef is all nice and brown. We're gonna add in, let's do about, a, about two tablespoons of our dehydrated onions. We're gonna put in our pile of our celery and our onion, or celery and carrots we're gonna put in. Yeah. So celery and carrots, let's get this. I wanna sweat this down just a little bit before we add in our next ingredients. All right, since it is a bacon cheeseburger, we're gonna put in a little bit of mustard and ketchup in with our veggies and our meat. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon or so of mustard and about two tablespoons of ketchup. going to add in a little bit. We're using, we're using Better Than Bullion, <clears throat> which is what I always use. But if you're going to use just like a carton of broth or something like that, then you want to hold off on that step until after we put our flour in. But I like to toast up my broth or my Better Than Bullion. I like to toast it up a little bit in the pan before I add my water. We're gonna add just a little bit of flour. This is gonna be our thickening agent. I don't want my soup super, super thick. But I do want, yeah, probably, I'm gonna say about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna start adding in our water. There's two cups, let's do two more. This is going to get finished off with heavy cream. So I think four cups of water should be good. Now we're going to put in, we have, it says four potatoes. Two of my potatoes were pretty small, so I'm doing five. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. And we're gonna let it cook for probably about 15, 20 minutes until our potatoes are nice and tender. All of our flavors have married together. And then we're gonna finish this with some fun ingredients. All right, friends, this smells incredible. It smells so good. Our potatoes are nice and tender. We're gonna go ahead and add in our last couple ingredients that we need to to make this bacon cheeseburger soup. Absolutely amazing. We've got 
eight ounces of Velveeta. I'm using a, I'm using the Walmart brand. That's just what they had. So it's, it's about eight ounces, about half of a 16 ounce brick. So you just cube that up and I've got about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. We're just gonna, we turned it way down. We're gonna let this sit here on the stove and let all this cheese melt. We're also gonna finish it with some heavy cream. And that's what makes this soup super decadent and perfect for a really chilly night like tonight. I just threw some Texas toast in the oven, which is gonna go perfect with this soup. I saved just a little bit of cheddar when I grated some, so we can put just a little bit of cheese up on top. We're gonna let this sit here on the stove for just another probably 10 or 15 minutes. Let all that Velveeta melt, let our cheese get all melted in there. And I'm telling you friends, this is going to be amazing. Let's give it a quick taste for seasoning because now is our time to adjust our salt, pepper. So we didn't put any salt in it because it has that bouillon in it, which has got quite a bit of salt. Plus it has the bacon and it has the Velveeta and the cheddar cheese. So I think that's gonna have plenty of saltiness. Mm. Oh wow, friends, that is so good. You are definitely going to want to make this soup. So good. We're going to let this sit, like I said, another probably 10 minutes because I see some big chunks of the Velveeta that need to melt. So we've got it down on really low heat so that it's not going to scorch. And we're just going to let it sit here for a few minutes and let that Velveeta melt. We're going to put our Texas toast in the oven and then we're going to eat dinner. All right, friends, this soup is done. It looks amazing. Let's get this in some bowls, get our Texas toast out of the oven, and we're gonna go eat this delicious soup. All right, friends, here is our mm, bacon cheeseburger soup. We're gonna put just a little bit of cheddar cheese right on top, just for a little extra garnish. This is gonna be so incredibly tasty. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen as we made a delicious soup from this cold winter night. We're gonna go enjoy this, eat this. I wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to spend time with me to come see what I'm doing in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys do that. Um, we are so close to our 1,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. If you know somebody that hasn't subscribed, if you think they would enjoy my content and what I share on my channel, please encourage them to check it out and subscribe as well. As I said before, I'm telling you every video, we're giving away a set of these amazing cookware when I hit that well, 1,000 subscribers. So we'll be doing a live. Somebody will be winning a set of these amazing pots and pans that are my absolute favorite. So get your friends to subscribe <laughs> so we hit that number. Also, if you have not yet, please hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. We're trying to upload as often as we possibly can. This is an extremely busy season for me. I have a lot of things going on, but I still enjoy sharing content with you guys, sharing tasty recipes like this one right here. And FYI, ladies and gentlemen, I made this soup. This is my recipe. So I will have this in the description box for you guys down below so that you guys can make this. Please try it. Let me know what you think. This is an original one. This is going to go in my cookbook that I'm working on and hopefully be ready for next year, which I'm excited about. It's a lot of work, but <laughs> I'm excited to do it. So. Friends, try this soup. Let me know what your favorite soup is for cold winter night. Maybe I'll try it and I'll share it on my channel. And friends, it's Christmas season. I wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Spend time with your loved ones and have a great day, friends. God bless.